Hello and welcome to Sonic Lifestyle. My name is Olivia and I'm a lifelong ballerina and classical musician here to teach you how to dance ballet with no experience necessary. So if you are looking to learn ballet, you're in the right spot. However, if this is your first time seeing one of my videos, then I recommend that you go ahead and go to my playlist section and watch the previous ones in the series before this because this video has built upon concepts taught in the earlier lessons. So go ahead and do that if you are new here. If you are a returning uh, person who is viewing my videos, then welcome back. I'm so happy to see you. And today, oh my goodness, we are going to be doing our first full beginner ballet bar class using concepts that we've learned throughout the previous lessons. So stay tuned, uh, make sure that you get your ballet attire on and you're ready to go. All right, so I'm really excited for today's lesson because this will be a full-on beginner bar class using all the concepts that we have learned in the previous videos. Um, like with any class, whether it is a beginner, an intermediate, or an advanced level class in ballet, you will start off with some plies. Now, just a quick note that I will be doing some traditional style arms here for the uh, ballet combination for, um, for the plies. Now, if this is too overwhelming for you, don't worry about it. You can simply just keep your arm on your hip you can keep your arm in first position, you can keep your arm in second position. Wherever is comfortable for you with first starting out, go ahead and do that. If you are feeling a little bit more ambitious, you can go ahead and try to follow my arm movements and my head movements and see how that goes for you. If you have a mirror at home, this is especially handy so that you can look at and look and see how you look in the mirror. Now, if that's too much to concentrate on, you can also use your phone or some other type of device to take a video of yourself so that you can see how you look doing these motions and kind of compare that to what I'm doing to kind of see the differences and where you might be able to correct yourself. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into our first combination, which will be a plie combination. In this plie combination, we will be using demi pliés, we will be using tendus, we will be using grand pliés, and then also a little bit of relevé. So I'm really excited to teach you this. So let's go ahead and get started. So again, we will go ahead and start to the right as you typically do in a ballet class, which means that our working leg, the right leg will be facing away and our left arm will be on the bar or on the wall or on the countertop, wherever you are. So to do these plies, we're going to be doing, um, we'll do our little preparation and close. We'll do one plie in first, we'll do a plie in first again, and then we'll do a grand plie in first. We will use tendu to transition to second position. Then in second position, we'll do plie, plie, we'll do a grand plie in second position. And then we will close in front to third. We'll do a third plie, plie, we'll do a grand plie in third position, then we'll go to fourth position, we'll go plie, plie, and we'll do a grand plie in fourth position, we'll do tendu to fifth, we'll do plie, plie, we'll do a grand plie in fifth position, and after that we're going to go up into fifth position, I'm going to teach you a new thing, which is like a closed fifth position, which is like a susu basically, so we're going to go up from fifth, we're going to close, and when you do that you want your heel of your front foot to be touching pretty much like the ankle bone on your back foot. So that's for your right fifth position of relevé. For your left, posi left, pos sorry, for your left position relevé, you want to have the left heel closing on the right ankle bone, okay? Now if your relevé isn't that high, don't worry about it. Um, just do the best of your ability, okay? So again, we're going to be doing preparation and we're going to do plié, plié, Grand plie, open to the second. We'll do plie, plie, grand plie. Tendu to the third, plie, plie, grand plie. Tendu to the fourth, plie, plie. We'll do a grand plie. I'm just marking it so this isn't, you know, the, the usual detail um, and like uh, form. Just so you know, um, this is just so you can get used to the, mo the movements, um, like hearing like the, the words of the combination. So after we're in, we're in fourth, we'll do the plie. Plie, we'll do the grand plie, we'll go to fifth, we'll go plie, plie, we'll do a grand plie in fifth, then we'll do our relevé, and bring your arm up to fifth, then we'll, we will come down, and we will end with our head, looking off into the distance, and the arm down here, then we'll, we will do it to the left. So again, we will do our preparation, and close, we'll do plie, plie, grand plie, open second, we'll do plie, plie, Grand plie to the third. We'll go plie, plie, grand plie to the fourth. We'll do plie, plie. We'll do a grand plie. Then fifth, plie, plie, grand plie. 
We're going to releve fifth, come down, and close. Okay? So I'm really excited to do this with you with music. This is our first combination in our beginner bar class. Then we'll get into the next one after this. So let's go ahead and get started. While I was doing that combination, a string on my harp just broke. I heard it snapped and that threw me off when we were doing the allonger at the end. So I'm sorry about that. Um, I'll inspect later on which harp string broke. <laughs> but I think it's interesting that I got it on camera because, um, uh, sorry to digress from our, our left side, but I've had times where in the middle of the night I'll hear a harp string break and it'll scare me because it sounds so loud. That one sounded a little bit quieter, so it's probably a string higher up on the, on the harp. But anyway, sorry about that. Um, that really threw me for a loop there, <laughs> but um, you know, as we say in ballet and in other um, performing arts, the show must go on. So you might have seen me kind of like be a little like, what's going on? <laughs> well, I was doing my LJ there and I didn't do it properly, um, but <laughs> that is why. But um, it's something to keep in mind, this is a great thing to come up actually, is that if you are in a class or if you're in a performance and you mess up, it's important to keep going because if you just stand there and freeze, it'll draw a lot of attention to you. So it's important just to, to keep going. I mean, as with anything in life, just keep going. If something happens, don't let it get, get you down. Keep going, keep doing what you gotta do, okay? So with that said, uh, an important lesson, life lesson and ballet lesson that I didn't expect to bring up, but um, uh, I think it's relevant that we did. So uh, maybe that was a sign. So anyway, yes, let's go ahead and go to uh, do our plies to the left. first combination of this ballet class. Um, next up we will be doing some, uh, let's see, I believe some that Monte Gages. Um, let me take a look at what I wrote down because I did plan out all these courses, but um, I'm not perfect, so I can't remember everything. Um, and I want to make sure that I got the, pro the progression down because I did structure everything very, uh, very detail oriented so that everything builds upon one another. So, okay, sorry, that Monte Gages will be after this next one. So, we're going to be doing some tendus and relevés right now. So for our tendu relevés, let's go ahead and catch our breath if we need to catch our breath. Take a quick moment to breathe. Okay, so for our tendu relevés, we are going to be doing uh, tendu en croix. So a quick reminder, that means uh, devant, which is to the front, us con to the side, derriere, which is back, and then us con to the side again. So we are going to be doing, we'll start in first position. I'll just put my hand on my hip for now. We're going to do time do, plie, time do, plie, time do, plie, hold, two, three, four, and down. Okay? So we'll do time do, plie, 
Tendu, du, these are demi plies, plie, tendu, plie, relevé, two, three, and down. Tendu, plie, tendu, plie, tendu, plie, relevé, and down. Tendu, now when you go down, you're gonna plie, sorry, plie, tendu, plie, tendu, plie, Relevé. We're gonna go down and then we'll, we'll, we'll do our, our finish. Let's go ahead and do that to the left. So we'll do our preparation. We'll do tendu, plie, tendu, plie, tendu, plie, relevé, and down. Tendu, us, pong, plie, tendu, plie, tendu, plie. Relevé, plié down. Derrière, plié, 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 and down, os comme, plié, tendu, plié, tendu, plié, relevé, and close. And we'll do a little off to the distance. There you go, close it. All right, so let's go ahead. Now, if you need a refresher on the combination, go ahead and rewind. If not, no worries, perfect. Let's go ahead and get straight into it. So great job on that combination. I'm so proud of everyone for following along. And again, remember this is your own practice. Be patient with yourself. If you feel like you need to go back and try something again, no worries, go ahead and do that. And if you feel like you don't need to, then that's also cool too. So again, this is your time, this is your class. Um, do things at your own pace and at what feels good for you. And of course, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. So uh, now we will go on to our third combination of today's beginner bar class, which will be some uh, dégagés and piqués and a little bit of relevé as well. And I also want to introduce a new concept to you, which is um, doing en croix, oh, sorry, doing en croix, but also reversing it. So we will be doing something to the front side, to the back, and to the side, which by the way, a lot of dance teachers um, will kind of communicate what you're doing with your standing leg and your working leg through their arms. So that's what I just did there. So let's pretend that this left arm is my left standing leg and this right arm is my right working leg. This is the leg standing. See how I put my, my palm flat, almost like my foot is flat. And I was pointing my, my uh, hand like if you're pointing your feet. So again, we will be doing a dégagé, piqué, close. Dégagé, piqué, close. Dégagé, piqué, close. Dégagé, piqué, close. Then we will reverse that, so we'll go to the back. Dégagé, piqué, close. Dégagé, piqué, close. Dégagé, piqué, close. Dégagé, piqué, close. Then we'll relevé for a few seconds, hold and come down and do the other side. So I'll demonstrate that as well with my legs and my hands and everything, and I will just keep my arms in second, uh, sorry, in my, on my hips here, um, just for, uh, for an easier uh, way for people who wanna focus more on their feet. 
And then when I turn around to mark it to the left side, I will show you some arms that you can do if you want to try to get a little bit fancier with your arms. But of course, again, take it at your own pace, do what feels good for you. So for this combination, we're going to be doing our little preparation and close. And you can put your hand on your hip if you want. You will do a DGJ, PK, close. That's the bump to the front. Then I'll just call in J, PK, close. Then do your air. J, PK, close. I'll just call in J, PK, close. So notice I'm closing my feet, which close in ballet is for me. You're closing your feet in first position. Now we just did that front side, back side. Now we're going to reverse that. We're going to do back side, front side. Okay? So we're going to go close, close, close. Close. Then we're going to releve, hold it for a little bit, come down, and we'll do our little ending pose. Turn around and move to the left side. Now, for the left, I will show you some different arms that you might want to try out. No pressure if you don't want to do them or if you don't feel ready, you can do them again at a later time. Um, so we'll do our preparation and close. We'll do good. Dégagez, pique, and close. Dégagez, pique, and close. Dégagez, pique, close. Take a J, PK, and close. Now reverse. Take a J, PK, close. 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 Then we'll do our little releve. We'll put our arms up in fifth for this one. And if you want to, you can even try to balance with your other arm. No pressure too, but if you want to try it, you can. But after we'll come down and we'll do a little ending pose. Okay? So let's go ahead and get started with music. in these motions for this class, what you can simply do is go down to the little gear icon in the video. Actually, I think this is reverse if you down here on the side. Um, and you can go to the settings and play the video at 0.75% um, speed or like, not percent, sorry, 0.75 speed, 0.50 speed. You can slow it down. Now the audio might sound a little bit weird, so if you want, you can go ahead and mute it there. Um, but that is a way for you to do the exercises at a slower pace if you need to. Um, and you can also speed it up if you wanted to, if you want to try to challenge yourself. But definitely make sure that you have the proper form and everything down for, for doing that. So anyway, um, this will be, uh, the next combination will be our last combination of this class. But I'm very excited to teach it to you because this is a classic combination that so many teachers teach. And it's very, uh, it's dégagé focused. Um, it's really, really fun and you'll see why. Um, so what we're going to be doing is I'm going to show you this way first and then I'll turn around for the actual, um, for the, uh, for the actual combination, but what you're going to be doing is you're going to be doing dégagés. You're going to be doing eight to the right, or sorry, eight to the right, eight to the left, four to the right, four to the left, two to the right, two to the left, then one, 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 and close. Um, it's fun because you don't expect it to be that fast. It, it gets very, very fast at the end, and it's a very good way to work on your technique and being solid and being quick with it. Um, I just remember being like a a little girl in ballet class having so much fun doing this because it was like you feel like you're like your legs are tick tocking back and forth because you're going so fast but again you don't have to do it that fast and you can slow down slow down the video if you need to um so go ahead feel free to take your time it's totally up to you this is your practice this is your performance so you have to do what's right for you so again i'll go ahead and i'll do the quick demonstration of what it'll look like properly um from the bar 
And what's also fun about this combination, which I also really enjoyed as like a, a younger ballet student, is that you're not facing right or left, you're facing the bar, which for some reason is just fun because it's a little bit different. Um, you don't typically face the bar in ballet, but there are certain circumstances that do call for it. So we're, we'll go ahead and face the bar. So when you face the bar, what you want is to place both of your hands on top of the bar. Again, no thumbs underneath. You want them to both be here, okay? And you want your hands to be in front of you, not too wide, not too close, but like kind of like right here, like a shoulder width apart. So we have our arms on the bar, um, okay? And what we're going to be doing is we'll do the gaje eight to the side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then we'll do eight to the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then we'll go ahead and do four to the right. One, two, three, four. Then we'll do four to the, to the left. One, two, three, four. Then we'll do two to the right. One, two, two to the left. One, two. Then we'll do one to each side four times. So one, 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 one. Okay? So I'm really, really excited to do this with you. It'll be so much fun. And let's go ahead and get started. Oh, and to do your preparation when you have your both hands on the bar, all you do is when you have your hands on the bar, you go, you lift up and then place them. Or if you want to get extra fancy with it, you can have your arms down in the preposition. You go one, two, and place. So what that'll look like, can I sit back? I think I can. So what that'll look like is you'll go one, two, and place. Or you can go like this, one, two, and place. Or you don't have to be fancy with it. You again take things at your own pace, but just start with your hands right on the bar. Okay? So let's go ahead and let's get started. Let's go ahead and try that one more time. So if you can believe it, we actually just finished our first beginner ballet class at the bar. I am so proud of you for sticking with me for this lesson and for learning all that you have so far. Of course, we have a lot more down the line to cover, but I think this is just such a great landmark and such a great milestone, and I'm so glad that you're here to enjoy it with me. Um, I think uh, before we actually officially end class, it's important to talk about reverence. So reverence in ballet is when you show appreciation for both. Um, your teacher, your audience, your fellow students, yourself, at the end of a class, it's just more of an etiquette thing. Um, now, of course, we're doing a virtual class, so it's a little bit different. However, I think it's important to get into the habit of doing a reverence at the end of the class. Now, typically, reverence, there are a few different motions and things that you do. However, because we are a beginner class, I think it is appropriate to do just simply a curtsy or a bow. So going over what we've learned previously, if you want to do a curtsy, you have your standing leg in front, you're working like in the back, and you're going to put the working leg's toe on the floor. Now, this is one instance where it's fine to have your toe facing the floor. It's not turned out. So you have your toe at the floor, and you're going to have our arms out like this. Now, this is, in ballet, is what we call a B plus, is when you're kind of like, like this. But we're going to be just, just square. We're going to have our 
our uh, hips and our shoulders and everything facing front. We're going to have our arms out and a little allonge at the bottom. And we're just going to simply plie. So we'll go down and plie. So just say, you know, we'll just do a little plie, a little curtsy. And if you would like to do a bow, just have your feet in sixth position. Put one hand over your stomach, the other one out here, and take a bow. Okay? So that'll be our little reverence. So my little reverence to you guys for joining me. Thank you so much. I had a fantastic time with you today, and I hope that you enjoyed your time here as well. Later on in the next few videos, I'll be teaching some more techniques, um, doing some smaller combinations after in, um, after each video to kind of recap of what we've learned. Um, and then a few more videos in, we will do another beginner bar class, um, kind of like this, where we will just do a bunch of fun combinations, and I'll teach you some fun tricks. So um, thank you so much for joining me. If you haven't already, please like, subscribe, comment, share, um, all those fun things. I'd really appreciate it, and it would help spread uh, the ballet knowledge to other people in the world, which would be so amazing to see more people doing ballet, especially um, learning in a free class. So thank you again for tuning in, and I'm very, very excited to see you in the next video. Thanks for joining me.